There are two ways to create a dynamic panels. One is to directly drag dynamic panel widget onto the canvas. Double click it. You can drag content into it. Double click on the exterior of the dynamic panel to exit editing mode. Another way is to select a widget, right click it, and select create dynamic panel in the context menu. In edit mode, you can see dash lines, which represent the size of the dynamic panel, and the content outside it is not visible. If you choose fit to content, the size of the dynamic panel will fit to its content. If you want to fix the size of the dynamic panel, you can uncheck this option. The content outside the dash line will not be shown. However, you can scroll the content by setting the scroll bar. Right on the dynamic panel and then select scroll bars, scroll as needed. Preview the prototype, you can scroll the content vertically on the widget. You can add multiple dynamic panel states. After entering the dynamic panel editing mode, click the state drop list and select the add state button to add a blank state. Then you can drag content into it. Move the mouse over a state and select duplicate to duplicate a state. Then you can adjust the content of the new state. To switch the dynamic panel state, click on the state drop list and select the state. We check fit to content to show all content. Drag a button, change the text to next, and add a click interaction to it. Select the set panel state and then select the dynamic panel. In the status drop list, you can see its states. You can select a specific state or you can choose the previous or next state. If you choose the previous or next, you can select wrap from last to first. Preview the prototype. You can see that when the next button is clicked, the state changes to the next. If it is the last, it will change to the first. You can set the animate in and animate out as well as their duration. Click on more option. You can check repeat and set its time. Preview the prototype. And you can see that the animation keeps repeating. We drag in a new widget and place it under other widgets. Then, in the special behavior drop list of button interaction, select push or full widgets below. Preview the prototype. And you can see that when the state of the card above changes, the locations of all widgets below it constantly change. 